All right, I'm going to make a new video real quick, but if you're new here, uh, my name is uh, Tori, go by Shook. Um, if you're on the YouTube side of things, I make posts on DFS Sports subreddit um, every day. Um, we got NBA coming up. That is my main sport, but I make uh, content for NFL as well. If Patreon and Discord is something you're interested in, um, I will have that as well in the link below. Where I'll post in-depth videos, roster construction videos, player pools, cores, etc., 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 and much, much more with people um, that will give out info as well. I will also have ownership projections too. So definitely check that out. Um, going over the slate today, um, I lost a little bit of money. Um, this was my main slate lineup. I always go small in showdowns. Definitely um, suggest going small. That's my main slate lineup. My cash lineup um, was this. Kind of made a mistake here. I should have went Diggs and Allen Robinson over Matthew Stafford and Matt Gay. It was those two lineups I was between. I did eventually choose the Matthew Stafford and Matt Gay route. That was definitely a mistake on my part. Should have went with Allen Robinson and Stefan Diggs over those two, but you live and you learn. I usually don't play cash for showdown, so I was a little bit out of my element there. Uh, but for main slates, cash is my specialty. So I'm going to make this video very, very quick. I already made the video before, but um, something happened with the edit, and now I have to make the video all over again. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to go over my top sacks, um, the ones that um, I like the most. We'll go over a few low on GPP stacks. And then um, what I'm going to do in those stacks, I'm going to tell you who's going to be in my player pool, who you should stack with that player, and who the bringbacks are going to be. There's going to be about five or six stacks. I'm going to go over these stacks very, very quickly because I need to get to bed. I can't believe the video I just made isn't working. So, yeah, kind of tilted there. But... Um, Let's go over the first uh, stacks real quick that I like. So one of the more popular stacks that I'm going to, uh, I think it's going to be is this KC Arizona game. Highest total on the slate. Um, Patrick Mahomes, I think is going to be probably the second highest zone quarterback, maybe the first outside of Jalen Hurts. But love this game environment. Both teams aren't going to play much defense. So absolutely love this game. If, if Patrick Mahomes is going to be more popular in tournaments, I would definitely lean Kyler Murray. But outside of that, I absolutely love this game. Not going to include the running backs with my stacks. So the main stacks that um, in the player pool that I have with Patrick Mahomes is going to be Juju, MVS, and Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey being, uh, being the best option in my opinion. But I think Juju is uh, clearly underpriced here and one of the best uh, cash game plays on the slate in my opinion. Uh, for bringbacks in these stacks, uh, there's clear option for me, and that's Marquise Brown. Um, you could definitely use Rondo more. If he plays, I think he makes for um, a very, very good value, especially with Nuke out. So, love this game all entirely together, and then I'm, if I'm sacking Mahomes, uh, the clear number one option, like I said. Uh, wait, did I already go over this? I already did. So, so I, I definitely do prefer Kyler Murray over Mahomes for tournaments. If, if the KC does not uh, KC side of things is going to be much more popular. You know, Kyler Murray, um, in the beginning of seasons when he's not injured, absolutely crushes, has that rushing floor as well. So I think you could include James Conner in these stacks, but I definitely don't recommend it. But uh, but no Chase Edmonds. I think he's going to have a similar role to last year and be heavily involved in the passing game as well as get all of the goal line carries. So I think you could include him, but I'm more inclined to go to these wide receivers like I'm going to include Marquise Brown. I'm going to include Ronda Moore, and I'm going to include Zach Ertz, assuming both of those guys plays. Like I said, right now, standalone, if he plays, I think Ronda Moore definitely makes for a good value at 4K. I think he's one of the better values, um, him and Kadarius Tony. And then uh, for bringbacks, it's either uh, Kelsey or Juju Smith-Schuster for me. Um, the next game that I think is going to be one of the most popular on the slate is going to be the Cincinnati game. So Joe Burrow. Absolutely love here on this slate at 6.4K. We know where the ball is going to go. Not going to include Joe Mixon, but he's a fine option. Jamar Chase is 7.1K. You're getting out of a discount from last year. I think this price is just too cheap. Um, you know, he can get separation. He can break long runs. Very, very good away from getting uh, getting away from the defense. So going to be open. Has a ton of upside. Absolutely love him. I think T. Higgins 
is a good option. Two at 6.1K, definitely don't mind him. And then I think uh, Hayden Hurst is going to have a pretty good year this year. So these are the main guys that I'm targeting with this stack. And um, if I were to use a bring back, it would either be um, Najee Harris, who I think will be the most popular bring back, or Deontay Johnson if he plays. And then if Deontay's out, uh, I think you definitely could could consider uh, Pickens. I think Pickens is uh, in the consideration regardless. So, uh, But this is a bunch of news that we're going to have to monitor. My next favorite game is going to be this Philadelphia-Detroit game. Um, well, maybe not next favorite. I think this Raiders-Chargers uh, game is definitely really good. And I think this Green Bay-Minnesota game is really good. But these are just my top stacks, not ranked in any order. So Jalen Hurts, I do project Philadelphia to throw the ball a lot more this year. Um, not going to include Sanders, but I think A.J. Brown is going to have a pretty big year this year. Um, him and Dallas Goddard, so going to include A.J. Brown. You can include Devontae Smith, but um, definitely do prefer A.J. Brown for not a little bit more. And Dallas Goddard is always going to be a target monster um, with this team, and I like the price of 4.5K. Definitely one of the better tight ends for cash games as well. So love this stack. Detroit's terrible on defense. And then um, the best bring back clearly is uh, DeAndre Swift and Amon Ross St. Brown. Um, if everyone's going to go to Swift, I might go to Amon Ross St. Brown, right? People think that his volume is going to decrease last year with Hawkinson and Swift when they were out. Well, I definitely do agree that it's going to decrease, but I don't think it's going to decrease a lot. I think he's clearly proven himself, and I think Jared Goff is definitely going to put a lot of trust in him. And then um, we'll go over one more stack, and then we'll go over um, some GPP stacks that I think are going to go a little bit overlooked. So... We'll go over two stacks. So Green Bay, Minnesota. Um, we'll go over the Minnesota side of things. I like this stack a lot more. Kirk Cousins. We know where the ball is going to go. It's going to go to Justin Jefferson. It's going to go to Adam Thielen. Um, it's going to go to Irv Smith Jr. So I'm only going to include these three guys in my stacks with him. And Justin Jefford, Jefferson, 7.8K. Whenever I, I can play Justin Jefferson, I'm going to play Justin Jefferson. And I think there are potential pretty good options for bring backs on this team. Um, so absolutely love that stack with Kirk Cousins. And then uh, bring back Aaron Jones, definitely a very good option. And then we're going to have to monitor the news here. Like if Alan Lazard doesn't play, Romeo Dobbs is going to be a very good value. Um, if Alan Lazard does play, fine. If And then we have to monitor the news with uh, Tanya. So make sure you keep up with the Discord or the subreddit because I'll have updates posted there with everything. Um what else? What else? Oh, this um, Raiders game. I like both sides. I think I think um, Derek Carr is going to go a little bit uh, overlooked, but um, that's fine. Um, Darren Waller is expected to play, so that's a bit of a downgrade to Adams and Renfro. So I definitely do prefer, prefer the Chargers side of things. Love Justin Herbert this year. He is projected to throw the most touchdowns out of any quarterback, which I tend to agree with outside of maybe Tom Brady. So, love Justin Herbert. Easily stackable with Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. These are the two guys that I'm going to mainly have in my stacks. Uh, you could definitely include Palmer, uh, but that's about it. Mainly going to be these two guys. And then, as far as the bring back, um, I really don't have a favorite option um, with Waller. And so, yeah. Now, let's go over um, some low and stacks that I like quite a bit. And the first low and stack that I like quite a bit is Indianapolis at Houston. First off, Phenomenal matchup against Houston. Jonathan Taylor is projecting for a lot of ownership. So if Jonathan Taylor is going to get a lot of ownership, nobody is going to play Matt Ryan. And I absolutely love Pittman on the other side of 5.5K. I think he's a tremendous value. Um, and I think he's going to be popular, but I don't think a Matt Ryan double stack is really going to be popular. Um, you could do anyone. doesn't really matter. Like Paris Campbell. But you can do anyone, but... Um, I think it's a very interesting stack for week one. And then the uh, bring back is clearly Brandon Cooks and nobody else, in my opinion. And then the other stack that I think is going a little bit under the radar here is the New York Giants and uh, Daniel Jones. Absolutely love Kadarius Tony at this price tag, especially if Sterling Shepard is out. And then if Sterling Shepard is out, we could have some value here in Wendell Robinson. Um, so yeah, potential news there, potential value there. But I think Tony... Um, if Sterling Shepard out, uh, makes for a very good option at 4.1k. That price is too cheap. 
Um, we don't know, know what's going on with Galladay. So, yeah, uh, potential value at tight end as well with Ricky Seals-Jones. Uh, we don't know if he's going to play it. So I think this giant stack is definitely uh, very interesting for tournaments. As far as a bring back, I, I don't have a favorite option. Like, you could do Derrick Henry um, since you think the Giants are most likely they're going to be down. So the, I think that definitely makes sense going with Derrick Henry and then um, double stacking with the Giants being down, being forced to throw the ball. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite stacks. I'm sorry this video is very quick, but it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I got to get to bed. I will have a final look for the main slate out most likely tomorrow night.